In this video, let us now see how to download and install PyCharm Community Edition on Windows Operating System. For this, firstly, we need to download and install Python, preferably the latest current version from its official website. Later on, we will see how to install PyCharm tool and thereby connecting both Python with PyCharm. So now, let us go ahead and download and install Python. For this, open up your Google browser. Type Python download. Click this first link. It will take you to the official website of Python, python.org under downloads. So navigate to downloads and you can see this is the current version of Python which is 3.13.5. Click this. The software is getting downloaded. Let us wait for a few seconds. Yes, now the download has been completed. Let us go to the downloads and double click this. Yeah, now let us go ahead and install this software. Before this, check on this use admin privileges when installing py.exe and add python.exe to the path. Choose customize installation and check all the things are being ticked like documentation, PIP, TCL, TK and IDLE, Python test suite and so these are the necessary things, uh, features we need to be checked on. Click next. Install Python 3.13 for all users. Check on this. Now it will go ahead and save this particular software on this C drive location. Let it be as it is. Click install. Click yes. And let us wait for a few minutes. Almost done. Yes, now the setup is successful. Close this. Let us know. Go ahead and type CMD in the start. Open this command prompt. Now under this command prompt type python space double hyphen version it will give you what version of python you have downloaded and installed so it, it says python 3.13.5 so now we get a confirmation that it is successfully installed. So now let us go ahead and download the pycharm id tool which supports code development. For that open up your google browser. Type PyCharm download and this is the first link provides by JetBrains. This is the official site of JetBrains to download this PyCharm tool. Click this link and on the right hand side you can see the download option. So the first option will be for the paid version. Scroll down for the free version and you can see for the free version which is available here. Make sure that it is on the Windows OS and it is free and built on open source. Check this download. Let us wait for a few minutes to get it downloaded. Yes, now the download is complete. Let us go to the downloads folder and you can see the tool. Double click this. This is the first setup page. Click next to continue. And this is the space where uh, the particular software will be uh, installed. So default, it will be on the C disk. Give next. And check on the PyCharm Community Edition and add open folder as project. So we are checking this for installation. Give next. And this is what the folder will be created as JetBrains. Click install. Let us wait for a few minutes. It is getting installed.
so click finish and now let us go ahead and open the PyCharm application or you have in the desktop yes and click customize option and you can see uh, the customizing options for your convenience you can select uh, light theme and yes you can also uh, select the language which is default in English and you can select the font also uh, you can change the font so I am keeping that keeping it as 13.0 and it is on the windows and yes so you're all set and now go to the projects click new project and this is your new project screen and after coming here now we will connect Python with PyCharm and as you can see this is the location where it resides and this is an interpreter type which is project VNV which is on that and the Python version is Python 3.13 and this is a path and now you can also uh, check this path in your folders also so for this you can go and open up your C drive program files python 313 and you can see the python.exe file here this is the application you can close this you can so this is the uh, double check confirmation where it really resides in your c drive so now it is automatically connected and after this you can just click create and now this is the IDE you can click allow for this close this and this is a welcome page from PyCharm tool and after this you can explore the menu options on the above and you can see this these are the exploring the menu options like file edit view navigate like that and if you want to be a uh, resided permanently you can go to the view and go to appearance and go to main menu and click show above main toolbar it will be shown permanently or you can also hide the main toolbar if you want that appearance go to main menu and hide the hamburger so it will again hide and now I'm going to keep as it is to be appeared so for that I'm going to view appearance main menu and show the above toolbar and after that on the left hand side pane right click on this Python project new and create a Python file you can give the Python file as money demo I'm giving as this name and click enter and automatically your file will be created as a python file dot py file so after this this is your coding screen and now come here you can just close this and this is your coding screen you can type a code to check so I am printing so this is a code I am going to give and after this you can just go to file you can click save all and after this you right click on your file and click run this file money demo and you can see the output like it is printing whatever the string I have given in the print function which is welcome to PyCharm tool so the string what I am giving is welcome to PyCharm tool uh, which I want that particular sentence to be printed as it is by using the print function so here you can see the output which is running below I hope uh, this is clear 
and uh, you can also try to change the font size if you want so for that you can go to this file um, go to this settings go to this editor click font you can also try to increase the size if you want or oh, I'm giving as 15 line height is 1.2 you can also give 1.3 if you want and click apply and click OK and now yes you can see the difference uh, the settings have been applied okay so for this if you want to check the particular same thing in the folders you have to go to this particular thing this particular path so I'm going to go to the C drive go to the users the money Check for PyCharm projects and here your Python project and this is your money demo. You can see the same Python file which is stored in your C drive. I'm closing this. I hope this is clear. And this is how you need to create your projects under this PyCharm IDE. So this is all about the installation and working of this PyCharm Community Edition tool. And you know like how we have connected this Python and with this uh, PyCharm ID too. So I'm just closing, closing this. Yes, and I hope that this video helps you to understand how we have connected Python with PyCharm IDE. Hope this helps you. And thank you.